Hello, this is Trog, and welcome back to another episode of How to Skyblock. Today, we are going to be getting villagers. Yes, this episode, we will be getting villagers, and I don't know if you can see it anymore. Ah, there's a villager in here. A Oh, there it is right there. You kind of see that little gray right there? That is a zombie villager. So, as you can see at the bottom, it says zombie villager groans. That's how we get it. But first... Some prerequisites. This is the first tutorial that I've made where you need to do other things first. So you need to have a mob farm to start out with, or you need to make one for this video. You are also going to need to go to the nether and find the nether fortress. Now I showed you how to do that in my other video. I'll be putting that in the iCards right about now. So that is the video to go and look at to find the nether fortress if you're a bit confused on where that is. But we will need both of those things uh, to get started. So first things first, let's get the supplies we need from the nether. Okay, so now we are in the nether at the fortress, and we got really unlucky and nothing spawned. So, uh, I guess that could be lucky or unlucky, depending on how you think of it. But over here is where I'm going to build a small temporary gold farm. And the reason I'm building it here is because we also need some blaze rods. So we might as well kill two birds with one stone. Because really, I could just stay over at the passive mob farm and take this armor, smelt it down into gold nuggets, and make the golden apple that way. But mm, 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 not, uh, not ideal. We want the blaze rods too. And might as well get extra gold while we're at it. You know, never know. So this platform is actually a going to be a pretty small platform. That way, uh, lots of mobs will fill up pretty quickly with it, and we don't have to worry about uh, about making a system to collect the loot. We can just have a door that we can open, and uh, and we'll get the loot that way. And again, this is not a tutorial for a pigman farm. This is just something very simple. And I'm also going to make it three blocks high so we have some wither skeletons that spawn. You know, just in case we want some soul sand. Just get as many resources as you can with these small farms that you do. And then once you go for, once you need a lot of them, you can go for a bigger, more efficient farm. Okay, now that the farm is basically all built, it's super simple, just some spawning spaces. We want to block out a few blocks and make sure that uh, it's non-spawnable space. And you can check that by trying to place a torch. If you can't place a torch, then it's non-spawnable. And you want to go out at least 24 blocks here. So, oh, how did I get that in my inventory? Looks like we have some spawning spaces inside the fortress I forgot about, but that shows that it is actually working. But why, why do we even need villagers in the first place? Well, let me tell you. Villagers are essential to move in Skyblock 4, um, to move up from the beginner tier to the intermediate tier. We're talking beginner game to mid game. You need iron. And to get iron, you're going to have to get villagers and make an iron farm. So, villagers is the first step to getting yourself from beginner to mid-tier. So, it looks like, after killing that pigman, there's nothing over here to spawn. But what we can do... Oh my goodness. We'll, we'll let that happen. Nature takes its course, course there. And we'll kill these wither skeletons that we got. Okay, so I did see a blaze. It must be somewhere else, though. So, hello, pigman. Hi. Please be mad at me. And, uh, yeah, so I used two trap doors here. That way we can get in and out and no baby pigman can get in and out. But, oh, ho, oh, oh. There were two more? Dang. There were four in here. Uh, so apparently the blaze despawned that I saw earlier in here, but we are able to get coal and soul sand from this little mini farm. So I guess I'm just going to hack away at this, keep going back and forth. So once you clear this out, you run over here to the little platform that we made. And I don't know, you like, uh, you like read a book or something. I don't, I don't know, listen to 
music, watch a YouTube video, something, while you wait for these to spawn. I might not have gone far enough out, so I may have to go some more. But we did get a pigman spawn up there, and uh, we don't have any gold yet. But you want enough gold to make at least one golden apple. Preferably you need two so that way you can make a villager breeder, but we're not going to do a villager breeder this episode. We're just going to get the one since it is a, uh, a little bit of a process. Okay, I am back and I have all the materials that I need and a new helmet because <laughs> I was <laughs> killing a few of these guys off the edge there. Uh, that we really need to fix that, but in order to do that, we need a sticky piston, so we're going to need quite a few other things, and I'm just going to toss that to get it out of my inventory. But we can make the golden apple now, finally, and now that we can do that, and we can brew potions, because I was able to grind a little bit for the witches, and we're able to get more potions, so I'm going to make three. But before we brew the potions, I want to make the modifications needed on this farm. So it is an interesting one, to say the least. We're going to need to make sure mobs don't fall. But what we want to do is break some of these blocks here and build out like this so that there is a platform for mobs to spread out this is again the modification that we need for this farm in order to turn it um, in order to be able to section out certain creatures from another so if I do this place a door here and uh, then we're gonna make a roof hello creeper that's what I was afraid of I didn't want to blow it up but we can make a roof over this thing and then we also want to make uh, cobblestone around the edges here that way we know nothing can get out and uh, we will also need the uh, the slabs here so uh, once that's in place on this side you need to do it on the other side and I will just demonstrate a little bit on how this works so that you can see it before I do the other side um, it's actually really cool and really easy. So you want to break this block here and place your sign. So here we go. The mobs are building up here and then eventually their AI will path them over around this area. So we should be good uh, to create the next part of it. So another platform going out this way. And once we do that, we can see which zombies which kill all the other mobs once we find a zombie villager and bring it out so that we can turn it into a villager. So uh, I'm going to get to work on the rest of this. We'll brew the potions up. I'll show you how to do that. And then all we have to do is wait for a zombie villager to pop up here. Let's see. Oh, oh, I see it. Zombie villager. Where is it? I saw it on the subtitles. <gasps> there it is. Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay, so all we have to do now is close this door. Oop. Let me just kill these guys first. At this point, I really don't care. Ooh, I got a potato. <gasps> that means we have potatoes and carrots now. Okay, so that's good. And there's the zombie villager, so all we have to do is be careful where we shoot this thing. And we should... Get the zombie villager. Okay, so let's hit around this guy. And it looks like he's a fisherman. Perfect. And that's not open, is it? No. Okay, so now we need... Oh, I thought I was about to fall off. Okay, now we need to make a separate space for this one. So I will make a bit of a area over here um, that I can lead him over. I'm going to need another door. But I'm afraid that he's going to despawn, so I won't be making the door. And I might just let myself die, to be honest, uh, by this villager. That way I know for sure that he's going to be stuck in a spot where he can't get out or anything like that. So here's what I'll do. Here we go. Here we go. It's farmer as well. Perfect. Okay. There it is. Block him in. 
and we've got our first zombie villager. We need one more for a breeder, so I will do that off camera. But now, all we have to do is cure them. So, I... Oh, no. I don't have anything. Please pick up a block. I don't think it picks up blocks. No. Oh, man. This is a huge risk. Ah, so, good tip. <laughs> Before you get this zombie villager, make sure that you have everything you need for brewing. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, and we do have a nether wart, so you're going to need uh, two blaze rods, a nether wart, a fermented spider eye, which means you are going to need some sugar, and a brown mushroom. There we go. We harvested that a little while ago. Now I'm going to take my bottles, get some water. Please tell me you didn't despawn. No, you despawned. Ah, get the potions first, people. Get the potions first. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> that was a big, oh, that's a big oof. Well, uh, what we can do is make this brewing stand and start brewing those potions. So, we can just plop it to hello. <laughs> so, we can uh, get our blaze rods here, put them there. Uh... And then all you need, you don't actually need the nether wart. I completely forgot about that. But what you, the only thing you need is a fermented spider eye. Oh, wrong one. So if we grab our fermented spider eye, put that in here, it will brew us a weakness potion. So you don't even need the nether wart. I forgot about that. Okay, I got another one. Uh, I got the local brewery, blah, 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 that one. But look. Uh, this one actually spawned in some iron armor, so he might be... Actually, I don't know. But if we throw our weakness potion on the villager... Did it miss? No. Okay, good. And we give it the golden apple. We'll hear the noises, and eventually... This guy will turn into a villager. And we've got to make sure, once that happens, that everything is okay. So, let's go around here, get rid of our little thing that we made... Uh, get the villager out of there. And, uh, now the villager should be safe. This one could actually pick up blocks. <laughs> Too bad I didn't need it. I was prepared this time. But I'm just going to kill these guys because they're being loud. But over here, uh, is that, what type of apron is that? Let's look. That looks like a leather worker to me. And I don't know if they keep their trades after they, uh... After they do that, because or get converted, because we definitely need a farmer. That's, like, number one priority. Farmer, so that we can uh, automatically do stuff. But I guess we can wait and just uh, have them breed and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I will be back as soon as the villager turns, or the zombie villager turns into a villager. Oh! I just went to check on them, and here they are. Okay, no profession, but we did it. We got the villager. Hello. Hi. Welcome. I saved you. Yeah. Hey. But there you go. That is how to get a villager in Skyblock. Now you just need to get one more on your own. I'm not going to put myself through that pain again today. I already waited so long to get this one. But wow, we did it. Villager down. We are one step closer to becoming mid-game in Skyblock. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this helped. Let me know what other tutorials you want me to do. But uh, until then, I will see you in the next episode.